Welcome, 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 welcome to Step Sid. I said Step Sid. <laughs> I go by the name of Stepper, Two Step, Stepper Rachi, whatever you prefer. Um, today I want to talk about something that was very um, life changing um, in my life, and that was when I got addicted to fucking PCP, Angel Dust. Uh, black bags, what else we call it? Wet, uh, to cow that ooh, we, yeah, man. And, um, I just want to talk about what I, what I learned from that experience, how I ended up getting addicted to PCP, how I overcame it, which just is a story within itself, and just the things I noticed about PCP the good things I noticed about PCP. Now, everybody, it's obvious what the bad things look like because the bad things look crazy. And, and people may even think I'm crazy for saying the good things. you like, the fuck good things come out, out of smoking fucking PCP? But I'm going to tell you, there's always a yin and a yang to stuff. And I'm going to break down to you why it's some good things that I've that I've experienced on smoking dust, PCP, black bags, whatever you call it, wet, cow, ooh-wee. First off, when I used to see people and I was like, uh, fuck. When back in 90, I say I probably first saw somebody on it, like in 95. You know what I'm saying? I started hearing it like in the womb music, like to cow. I was like, what the hell is the cow? Like, I didn't, never, I didn't know what it was. I was smoking just weed back then. So I ain't, you know, I ain't do no fucking hard. Just maybe weed and, you know, drink a little liquor, but never was, um, never was into no crazy shit. I was young too, because I'm, what, 42 now. So in 95, I was, uh, yeah, I do the math. I ain't got time to do that math. Um, 78, 89, 90, about 17, 16, 17. So I start, So then I saw one of my friends. Um, I was hitting in the woo music. That's how I kind of, you know, got introduced to it, which um, proves again to my, to what I think is music play a lot into pushing um, agendas as far as um, killing our own people, um, drugs. I always say music is a is a big part of it because music helps promote you know, the, 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 the agenda, it helps. It really does. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's, it's hypnosis and music plays a whole lot in really pushing that. And uh, that's where I first heard it from. I believe was, you know, woo and cow. I'm like, what the hell? So then I, you know, one of my friends used to live up the street. And then one day I was walking up the street and I see them outside. How that, it was like, 300 degrees. I'm talking about the sun was like right here, beaming. It was hot, scorching. And they had on like these hot wool, wool winter hats and short sets. They were just up there dancing by the Packers store, sweating. So I was like, yo, I said, what up, man? I said, what's up with y'all? I'm looking at them like they bugged out because they was bugging out. They was, they was, you know, they was high. But I didn't know, you know, I didn't know what I said. What y'all, what y'all high on, yo? He was like, man, we on that cow. So they dancing, they hot, they sweating. I think they stink a little bit. You know what I mean? And they just did dancing. So I was like, to cow. So when I seen it, and I seen the way it had them acting, I was like, I, I mean, they crazy for, you know, smoking that. You know what I'm saying? I was like, well, how, why would they even smoke something that got them looking like that? You know what I mean? I didn't even understand how they would even allow themselves to, you know, even go down that road. You know what I'm saying? Because it looked so crazy to see them the way they was acting, it was, it was, it was like psychotic. You know what I mean? So time goes on, there's more and more people in the neighborhood smoking it. And, you know, people bugging out. I'm seeing people bug out. But then you had those people that was able to control it. So it wasn't that, um, you know, they still looked kind of dumb, but it wasn't like freaking getting naked and all that. Cause people was getting naked. You know what I mean? Like stripping down. I don't, I don't know. What's the connection between dust and people getting naked? I don't know because people just, it seems like when, a lot of people when they smoke dust, they want to take their clothes off and shit. 
I don't know. I don't know that connection. I was thinking about that because a lot of people have gotten naked. I don't understand why would you want to get naked when you high. I, I mean, like, I don't know any other drug I did that make me just want to take off my clothes. I mean, e-pills, but you want to take it off because you want to get nasty. I, I'm talking about taking clothes off and outside and run down the street or, you know, stuff like that. So fast forward, you know, so I, you know, more and more people around started doing it. So um, I'm trying to think how the hell did I actually start doing it? I know I ended up smoking it. I don't know why. Um, I don't know why. I don't know who gave it to me first. Who said take a puff of this? I don't even. I don't know. But when I first did it. I didn't like it. I was like, what the hell? I just felt like crazy. I felt like insane. You know what I mean? I was like, oh man, it just feel crap. I, I was riding down the street with my cousin and he had smoked it. And we riding down the street on wheel pedal bikes. So he looked at me like, called him my real name, Jimmy. Like what? But he said it like he was scared. Like he was afraid. I'm like, what up? He's like, oh, oh, oh. Yo, I forgot who you was. Like he forgot, he just was bugging. So I was after that. I was like, I don't like this. Somehow I kept smoking it. I kept smoking it. Now you gotta understand what kind of person I was, because when I st the type of person I was, smoking dust would be the last thing you would think a person of my character would do. So when I started smoking it, people were just like, Oh my God, Jerry smoking dust. Because I wasn't even that type of dude. You know what I mean? And um. So I end up smoking it, and somehow I end up just end up smoking it again in like '98. Yeah, I think like '98 I end up smoking it again. So when I smoked it, kept smoking it, smoking it, and around this time '98 is when I started like getting a few dollars. '97, '98, I started like you know doing my thing, hustling, you know, you know selling drugs, selling heroin at the time, and I started getting me you know a couple dollars. So I was coming into this money. And coming into this habit, you know what I mean? It was, it, it was, it was a crazy parallel because I, I, when I first people, I was doing dust once in a while, once in a while, because I was still maintaining, you know, you know, getting money and 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 still able to keep myself up. So it didn't really, it didn't really catch me yet. It didn't really catch me yet. And um, so once it started, it started catching me. You know what I mean? Like around 99. Not like 99. I started, you know, 98 is so where I started getting a few dollars. And then 97, beginning 98, I started getting a few dollars. Then 99, somehow the habit just got out of control, man. I'm talking about I was smoking the shit out of dust. You know what I mean? I'm talking about just, bro, it was a place where we live at, Mountain Court. It was like, damn headquarters for the shit and we used to it was just be like a drive-through down that motherfucker like a little project and they had like you go in and you come around and go out so it was like a drive-through and you see so many cars going through that project man just waiting on bad it's like that drug i don't know what what it is but that drug is is like almost like crap because when people you know even when the dudes want you to meet them somewhere the people that was selling the dust as soon as they part, you don't even know. You they be like, all right, meet me on this street. So you'll pull up on that street. You just pull up on that street. You see a bunch of people just sitting in different places in their cars. Or some people, you, you might not even know they waiting on this person to pull up. Soon as this dude pulls up, you just see a bunch of people getting out of their cars, walking. Bunch of people. It, it was like panda fucking over this shirt, man. You know what I mean? With this dust, it was like panda monium. It, it's when you end. When you smoke dust, it's like a coat. You know what I'm saying? You, it, it, it's crazy. It's like a, you just become a part of this coat where, you know, you end up, might end up one day smoking, chilling with people you've never chilled with a day in your life, don't even know like that. Y'all just become like dust fraternity brothers. I don't know what's going on, but it's like a, it's like a whole community. And, um, so anyway, so now I started smoking the dust. So, me and my boy uh, Deacon Jones, 
we both we just smoking dust. And then, mind you, I used to go back and forth to Vermont. You know what I mean? Back and forth to Vermont doing our thing out there. You know what I mean? And um, getting money out there. And doing all that, I used to just be on dust with a sprinkle of E-pills. Because I got introduced to E-pills in the mix, which was one of the greatest feelings I ever felt in my life. So I get addicted to this fucking dust, right? So I start having these little episodes and shit. I started like, I used to walk around with these two like balls, you know, like the balls that um that Trey father had in Boys in the Hood when he wanted Trey to get out of the car, he was sitting at home. I had them balls rattling. I had my own set of, I don't know what made me get these fucking balls, but I used to walk around with these balls and just be preaching, you know what I mean? Like, but you know what's so crazy? Now this is, this is now, I'm gonna give y'all goods and bads along the way what happened in certain situations. I used to walk around with these balls, giving people, you know, people that had problems or want to talk or always had the correct answer for them. And that's the good part because the dust had me tapping into stuff that, and part of my brain that I could I wasn't tapping into normally because people could ask me anything and I just be talking. And and people be like and I'm not talking crazy, I'm talking like and it's making sense. People are like, yo, how the fuck he know that? Like how how do I know what I'm saying? Like how do I where did that come from? I don't know where it came from, but it seemed like and people will walk away from me like, yo, that dude is like smart. I mean, I'm normally am smart, but I, all, I tapped into something deeper, way deeper. That that dust unlocked some type of doors that um, I don't know. Is is I think about it to this day. Certain stuff I did that, even though people said I was bugging to me, and I might was bugging to them, but but the other side of that, mentally and stuff, it was things that was going on that was some special power stuff. So. So now everybody's talking. I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna talk of the town. Yo, you see this dude, yo, I'm drunk out on dust. I was doing a bunch of like dumbness, man. Like just smoking dust and um just just having all kind of episodes, man, and like bugging out. I didn't get naked. Yes, I did one time. I didn't really get naked, but check out what happened. I'm messing with the Spanish girl, right? So we had a sister house. So she in the shower. And I'm on the toilet taking a taking a shit while she in the shower. And I'm high as a motherfucker. She used to get high too, but she ain't had no episode. Yeah, she was able to control it, man. So I got high. So I'm using the bathroom, right? And all of a sudden, I felt something say, just got off the toilet. I said, what? Just got off the toilet. Now, mind you, I'm in the middle of taking a shit. Just got off the toilet. So me being obedient, I get off the fucking toilet, run into the living room. I don't remember what happened. They told me um, after I ran into the living room, they said they ain't had no milk because people use milk to bring the bring the high down. When you hide, milk brings the high down. So they said, yo, give up. They said they gave, they gave me pina colada. And somehow the pina colada worked and I snapped out the shit. So I was so fucking embarrassed, yo, because it was like, I think it was somebody, kids was in there, man. This was an embarrassing thing, you know what I mean? And um, my mother and them was just, was just bugging because, like I said, I wasn't the one that you would expect to do a drug like that. So anyway, mind you, I was smoking, I was taking e-pills too sometimes with this drug. Um, so now while I'm doing this drug, right, I'm going to tell you things that happen that you might, you might say I'm bugging, you know what I mean? But I know it's true and it's going to sound like I'm bugging. I, I know it. Y'all going to be like, what's wrong with this dude? Yeah, right. He did yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? And, and you can say that, but I'm going to tell you one couple things I did high on PCP. It's going to sound crazy to you. But it's not crazy to me because I, I know what happened. One day, I'm not lying to you guys. 
I was controlling the wind. Literally, and someone was there to witness this. It sounds bizarre. It sounds crazy. I know and I understand and I will not take any offense if anybody would say to me, yeah, right, you're bugging. Because if I'd have heard this coming from somebody's mouth, I would say, they bugging. No doubt in my mind. I'd be like, no, you know what? Now, I, I wouldn't say that because I went through it. But before I experienced what I experienced, I was actually controlling the wind. I'm going to tell you how. I don't know how. I just believed that I was going to control it. It was no doubt in my mind. I remember I was out there. I was like, yo, watch this. I'm going to make the wind. Now, it's not a windy day. Nothing. I'm downtown and by a hotel. And I remember I was came out in front of the hotel. It was like 1, 2 in the morning. Wasn't no windy day at all. I go out and say, I'm going to control the wind. I started just... Didn't really think. This went out there and wasn't no doubt in my mind. I started like... Just going out there blowing. And when I blow, I, the whist, it was just a bunch of wind coming. So the person I'm with, like... Nah. So I keep doing it. They're like, what? The fuck is this dude? Is it? Like, did it stop? And now they having doubts in their mind. They're like, no, he can't be doing this. So they was like, it was always windy out here. So I said, okay, let's wait. Waited like a few minutes till, you know, after I stopped. So to see if any gust of wind to come since I'm not doing my thing. Nothing happened. I said, you want me to do it now? Yeah. I blow. The wind come out of nowhere again. not lying <laughs> I am not lying not only that but you know how like let's say if people you know how like kids or something they they, they you know they could sense like um just just people that's just like super negative or just like it's something about them that's evil or something I used to walk around right and people that had little things about them used to glow red you just glow right to see the glow around him. It was red, like a red glow. And it always let me know that it was something that just wasn't right about that person. And the reason how I know is because a couple of times I was around people and it was glowing red and then I was talking to the person, the other person that was there with me that know the person. I'd be saying stuff like, talk to like, yo, who that right there? He's like, oh, that's so-and-so, this and this and that. And I was like, oh, oh, oh. I'm like, I get like crazy vibes from home. Like, and they be like, oh, yeah, because, man, home, this and this, 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 and that, home, kill. And I was like, in my mind, like, oh, I never let them know that I was seeing this glow around the, the person. Because, you know what I mean? I knew that people wouldn't wouldn't believe me if I, you know what I'm saying? You see a glow. Like, even me saying it now, it sounds like a fucking movie. People just don't understand the world we really live in. This shit is magical. You know what I mean? Like, people be, be, be just doubting all this magical stuff. But this, if you really, if you believe in God and, and you believe in the creator or, you know what I'm saying, or whatever you believe in, Jesus, or turning water to wine, all these other stories, all this shit, it, it's magic. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, that some bigger um, force than us created all this and that they were able to create this and create that. That is that is magic. You know what I mean? That's what it is. So if I'm telling you that I was able to do these things, you know what I mean? Like, why you can't believe it? Because all this shit is magical. Be able to create what we want to create. We can think it, we can create it. That's fucking magical. You know what I mean? We, you got to understand the type of world we really live in and what life is about for real. You know what I mean? Like, it, this shit is like, and the th reason why it's, it's, it's so hard to grasp is because we've been taught like magic is this, um, this thing that it, it's like an illusion. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's an illusion. It ain't, it ain't, it's not really real. And this and this and that. No, this shit is real. Like magic and, 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 and his witchcraft and all this other stuff. This stuff is real stuff. 
You know what I mean? So I don't put none of, none of that kind of stuff past. The, you know what I'm saying? I don't you know offset it because I understand that all this shit is magic. You know what I mean? So I would believe in a lot of stuff. I be not a lot of but things that be having like some merit to it, and people be talking. They be you know I be really feeling them, and they be you know convincing and really have conviction on what they went through or what they believe, man. You, you know, stuff is amazing. And me, now me, you know, to, to witness and go through the things I went through, it was, it was, it was so scary, but at the same time, it was so amazing. You know what I mean? And the one episode that I had when I was on that show, is the episode that actually changed my fucking life. You know what I mean? It actually changed my life. And let me tell you about this episode. So one day, I went to go pick up my um some mother and um, you know, go get a room. I had already popped me an e-pill. Popped me a good old goddamn e-pill. I was feeling good in the motherfucker. So I was like, um, I was like, okay, now I need to get me a good bag. So we was on our way to the hotel room. So I stopped. I see this dude, you know, go to this project that was notorious for selling the dust. I see him. I'm like, what up, yo? So you got it? Excuse me, yo. He was like, yeah, I got it. She's like, but what I got now, I don't even want to sell you, man. Like, this shit is like, it's like, it's too potent. I don't even want to sell it to you. Why did he say that shit there? I said... That's what I want. So boom, you know he served it to me. I could tell it was potent too. I could just tell it. You able like when you were dust head, you could tell it was like he had it cold. Cause he keep the shit on ice. Then it had like that crystally. Oh, uh, you you just could look at a bag and be like, this is it. You smell it. Oh man, this is it. This is it. You just know it's it. You know what I mean? So I I'm roll up. Ask my some other shoe. She's like, nah, I don't want none. So I'm puffing. Puffing all the way to the hotel room. And I'm rolling on the e-pill. Don't forget that. I'm on the e-pill. We get to the room, right? I'm high in a motherfucker, man. High as a fuck. Oh my god, I'm high as a motherfucker. Okay, I'm trying to see if these two stories go together right here. Um, all right, let me back up. Before that, before I go to how I ended up stop smoking dust, let me backtrack and tell you where I ended up at from smoking dust. I ended up. high one day and I found out that this guy had um you know we, we it was cool you know we was cool I was more so cool with you know my other boy who was super cool with this dude but we was all cool he ended up sleeping with my baby mother the one I you know brought us into the room with so I got I got I was mad I was heated because they both were denying it, but a friend of my son, you know, a friend of my son's mother told somebody else who told me, and I already was suspecting it because the way that she used to always be around this person. So anyway, she, um, she ended up, you know, sleeping, but they both denied it, but in the back of my mind, I knew this shit was true. So I get mad, you know what I mean? So I go to his house. I knew where he lived at, so I go to his house and shit. And um, I break in his house. You know what's so crazy? It was like, it was pure daylight. It was like one in the afternoon. I went to their house and shit. And I, re I regret this and I apologize to, to his girl because she was, we, we, her and I were cool. We were always cool and I, I um, 
you know, I regretted it now when I'm, you know, that I wasn't high no more. But anyway, I went to, you know, the house broke, you know, went in their house or whatever. And while, you know what's so crazy? I'm in their house just trying to look for shit, looking for shit, looking for shit. And while I'm in the house, but I keep going to the, the um, I keep going to the, um, the door, checking it to the window, making sure nobody about to come in. And when, 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 and then all of a sudden I went to the door to check it, a uh, window to check to see was they there. I go, look out the window, and they was pulling the fuck up. Oh my god, they was pulling the fuck up. Now I'm in this house taking shit. So I run out the front door and like, slot, like go into the bushes. Just saw some bang going to the bushes. So boom. She he let her out. She go in the house. And he he take off. He ain't even go in the house. And the crazy thing is, they wouldn't have never even knew it was me. This what I I don't know why I did this, but I went back after she went in the house. I go back and knock on the door and ask her, hey, it's is is um, you know, so and so here? And she was looking at me all like, no. Nah. And I left. I never been to their house at all by myself. Especially looking for him. So it was a day. I did that was just dumb for me to do that. I should have just left. I should have just fucking left. But something just I just went and did that dumb shit. Then I was trying to sell this shit to people and you know what I mean? And then it all got out. So anyway, you know, him and you know, uh, you know, her boyfriend, the dude that was, you know, mess with, mess with my baby mother and you know, her brother. You know, tried to jump me. So me and him had a fight and everything. So I was bugging, man. I was just bugging. So I ended up in jail. Now, mind you, this is how I end up in jail. <laughs> Not even for that. I ended up in jail because the girl who house I broke into. I, I got mad as I I got on some like some 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 bitch shit and started just Rob his house, told his his babe mother that he messing with this other girl. He messed with my babe mother and this other girl. So what happened was, after I told her that he was messing with this other girl, I told his girl that he was oh he's messing with this other girl. She, how the fuck did I even end up with her? Okay, the person whose house I went broke into, the dude. I told his girl about him messing with my son mother which was her best friend too did some shit um and this other girl that he was messing with and I was messing with her cousin at the time it's crazy crazy connection so one day I had a rental car and she wanted to, to, to go see the girl that I said that he was messing with too besides you know my son mother the other girl so they jump in the rental with me to go find the other girl that I told her that he was messing with. So it was me, her, the cousin I was dealing with, and a friend. So we go around looking for this girl. Why the hell we we driving? I'm thinking we ain't gonna fucking see her. You know what I'm saying? Coincidentally, we see her walking up the street. She jumps out. Oh, you messing with? Just beat the girl up. Beat her up. I mean, beat her up bad, man. I never seen a girl beat a girl up this bad. Picked her up, slammed her. I never seen a girl beat a girl up this bad, yo. It, it was wicked. And then but in the midst of them fighting, I reached into the fight and I took her and I snatched the girl chain. And when I snatched the chain, you know what I mean? So they took the, they took her her purse and her keys to her fucking fucking house so they was like the girl i was dealing with her cousin was like everybody go in this bitch house so i ain't going i'm saying so i drove her to the house they go up in the girl house i stay downstairs i'm not about to go in this girl house you know what i mean we i already snatched the chain and shit which i thought she ain't see me but come to find out she did see me she seen me snatch the fucking chain that's crazy so we, they go in the house they come in and like yo it's a safe up there i said what they said, it's a safe up there. We can't get it. It's too heavy. So here go my ass. Go up the stairs. Grab the safe with some strong shit. Bring the safe back down. 
So boom, now I got the safe in the car. But it was a nice, heavy, couldn't even get the shit open really. It was just, it was just hard to get the fuck open. So I ended up being by myself with the safe. I think they just left. I don't know if they thought that maybe I couldn't get the safe open or what, but they left me just me in, in the safe. So I was just going places trying to find out the way to get this fucking safe open. So I went to the project that, you know, I buy my buying the dust from and started dropping the shit off the third floor. Now all these dudes out there probably waiting for this safe to open up so they could fucking steal the shit. I knew if it would if it opened up and there'd been a bunch of shit up in there, they would have fucking stole it. You know what I'm saying? I mean somebody else they ain't they ain't care about me. I mean to be they, they would have fucking that safe would have opened up the motherfuckers would have took whatever the fuck was in there. I, it would just do. I was just doing a bunch of dumb shit. So make a long story short, I um then I got a gun poured out on me, man. It was a bunch of stuff over that safe because the girl who house they broke into, her father was like a, I don't know if he was a friends with a cop or ex cop. I don't fucking know, but they got me and then they cuffed me, and then these motherfuckers gonna tell me. They need to bring me to the fucking um. They need to bring me to the police station right away. They brought me to the park and opened the door and said we should we should let him just beat you up. Basically, I was cuffed and home. Just opened the back door. I don't know what made him not do nothing. He just looked at me. He he ain't do nothing. He ain't do shit. But I had so many people looking for me, man. It, it was a scary time. So anyway, I ended up in jail. I didn't even know I was in jail. You know what I mean? That's how polluted my fucking system was. So I ended up, um, I went, it took me like a week and a half to know that I was in jail. You know what I mean? My mother um, set me up to go to jail because she was so scared. I understand it now. But um, what she did was she heard all these people was looking for me because I took the safe and I broke in this girl's house and... It was spreading around town. People was looking for me. Like, they was looking for me to fucking do something to me. They were looking for me like a motherfucker, man. God was just on my side. So my mother was got scared. And she called me to the house. Like, just come to the house. I'm like, what, what, mom? Dude, just come to the house. I got something I got to talk to you about. Come to the house. I'm like, what you want to talk to me about? Boy, just come to the house. So I ended up coming to the house, going to the house. Go upstairs and take me a shower. So the only thing I heard was I knock at the door, boom, 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 boom. So they like, all the like, ooh, Jerry, the cops. I said, the cops? What they at the door for? So fucking out. I'm like, hold up, hold up, man, open the door. So I'm trying to boom, boom, I'm trying to run out the back door. They try to yeah, put on some clothes around the back door so I can get the fuck gone, but I'm gonna let let them in. And um, she let them in, man. They end up catching me and, you know what I mean? I don't even know. It, it took me to jail, man. It took me to jail. And um, like I said, I didn't know I was in jail. And fucking offered me fucking seven years. And, I, and when that shit, I was in there for about a couple weeks. They offered seven years. Like, that's when I snapped out this shit. Like, oh, shit, I'm in jail. You motherfuckers said, seven. I, I can't do seven years. What the fuck I'm doing here? Anyway, end up getting only 18 months. You know, did like 10 months off that. I came home. So now, I got a fresh start. You know, I've been out. I've been away from everybody for 10 months. Shit died the fuck down. And um, and somehow I ended up smoking dust again. So I ended up smoking fucking dust again. And now that now, the story I started to tell before... Is when I went to go pick my son mother. I'm on the e-pill. I'm feeling good. Dude said, um, you know, I went to, to, to you know, to known court, other project name, to get me the fucking bag. He was like, I don't want to sell it to you. I said, well, that's what I want. He gave it to me. I smoked that motherfucker, me and my son mother at the hotel, about to do the wild thing. All of a sudden, we took off our clothes. So I'm laying there. And I'm like, so we about to get nasty. So all of a sudden, I felt my my dick shrinking. You know what I mean? I, it was shrinking, like backing that thing up, shrinking. I thought I was bugging. So I, you know, I said, "Damn, my shit shrinking." So I looked at my son, my son. I said, "Ooh, babe, 
I said, no, I said, oh, damn, man, my tongue's shrinking. She said, ooh, babe, it is shrinking. When she said that, I jumped up. Oh, my God. I jumped up and went to run out the hotel because now I'm bugging. I got like a trillion, billion thoughts going through my head at one time. Bunch of, bunch of thoughts, bunch of thoughts, bunch of thoughts, bunch of thoughts, bunch of thoughts. I mean, the most confusion I ever felt in my life. So many thoughts, so much confusion. It was wild. I never experienced nothing like this in my life. It's like I had a million, a million, trillion, gazillion thoughts at one time. And so I go and I'm bugging now. So I go to run out the damn um, hotel because I can't take it. It's like fucking pandemonium in my head. So I go to open the door. You know, like emergency locks that be on the hotels. The fucking, um, my, my son mother bugging. The emergency locks caught the door. I'm ass naked. I'm ready to go up that motherfucker. My birthday suit. You know what I mean? So I'm bugging. So, boom, the door, the emergency lock caught the door. I'm like, oh, shit. So then I'm trying to run around. I'm like, oh, I'm going crazy. So in my head, I said this in my head. I said, God, please help me. I can't take this no more. I can't take this. I can't handle this. God, please help me. I said it in my head, though. And in a minute, as soon as I said those words, my right hand to God, and my right hand to God, it made me want to cry even saying this. My right hand to God. My right hand to God. I said, God. Please take this away. I can't handle it. I can't control it. It's too, I can't, it's too much. As soon as I said that, God took it away from me like this, like this. I sat on the bed, my son, mother, I was bugging. Now imagine this scenery now, I'm bugging. Oh my God, I'm going crazy. Now all of a sudden, I'm sitting, cause she don't hear me, I say it in my head. So when I say these things, I just stop and I just sit down on the bed. Just like this. Sat on the bed. She said, Bay. I said, what? She said, well, you, you all right? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. What's up? No, you were just bugging. You good? Like, what? Wow, you good? I'm like, yeah. I felt like I never did a drug in my life. And it was a it was amazing. It was truly, truly, truly an amazing thing that happened to me. Felt like I never done a drug ever. It's like it left immediately. God, please help me. I can't take this no more. I can't take this, God. I can't take it. And I hate that God knew I couldn't take it. God knew I couldn't take it. And when God knows it's, it's, it won't give you too much, won't give you, you know, they said God won't give you no more than you can handle. Well, God knew that that was something I couldn't handle. So God stepped in. God stepped in, man. Took it right out of me. Whatever God is, the higher power, whatever that is, whatever God is, God, that, that's all that could have been. Whatever the high, higher power than me and you took that, I, I couldn't do that because I was high. That high has to come down. It don't just poof and be gone. That, that don't work like that, especially how high I was. And I was on e-pills and ecstasy. I mean, e-pills and dust. Shit just don't boom like that. Mm -mm. God took that away. I believed in God before that. Absolutely did. But after that, there's no doubt in my mind. There's no doubt in my mind. No doubt. So, man, I'm going to wrap this up. Just, you know, just to say that God is good. And um, life is good. And PCP, I always told you it's the good side and the bad side. <laughs> but um, a lot of bad. I experienced a lot of bad. A couple good things, though. One good thing. Another good thing I... Um, that is a good 
trait if it's used the right way on dust is when you think of something and you got an idea of something, you're gonna fucking like you, you can you you're just totally consumed with doing that idea. Let's say you say I want to build me a house. Well, if you're dusted, this is my experience. I don't know about anybody else. If you're dusted, you will f build a house. Somehow, you will figure out a way to acquire what's needed to get you a house built. I don't know what it is, man. That shit give you like a fucking drive. Like, that's just crazy. My experience gave me the drive. Let me say that. Um, but it's a horrible drug. Don't ever take it. Don't ever try it. It had me. It had me for about a couple years. I dropped it. I, you know, I let this, I let it go. You know, I learned from it, and I and, and, and it strengthened my belief in God. And um, and, and and life life is good, man. You know, just just smile. You know, and, and and go out there and make somebody else smile. You know what I mean? Smile and make somebody else smile. And when somebody asks you, you know, why y'all like y'all happy, go always happy and 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 always smiling and shit. And this we always smile and be like, and step aside. Step aside. This what this is what I need to be doing. Smiling and making somebody else smile. So you don't know why you so happy, say, cause step aside. Peace, y'all.